talisman is an object filled with magical power. An astrological talisman is a talisman charged with the power of the planets, stars, or other astrological factors. Astrological talismans are the practical application of Hermetic and Neoplatonic philosophy, which sees the cosmos as one great unified being, interconnected by bonds of spiritual sympathy and correspondence. In making and using talismans, we work with the underlying spiritual connection of all things, by storing up the energy and spirit of the planet, stars, and other astrological factors in talismans. When a talisman is created in an astrologically auspicious moment, it carries the power and radiates the effect of that moment throughout its existence. This means that the key to astrological talismans is selecting an astrologically powerful time to make them. Without being made at the right time, so-called talismans are nothing but hunks of metal. The design and materials alone give almost no magical charge and are basically ineffective. At Renaissance Astrology, we use only authentic medieval and Renaissance astrology and magic for our talismans, following authentic traditional sources and following the direction of these sources for their materials, design, timing, and consecration. We do our best to follow in the footsteps of our illustrious predecessors, like Cornelius Agrippa and his three books of occult philosophy, Marsilio Ficino's three books on life, as well as doing our own translations of Thabidum and Coros de Magimus, and the most famous astrological grimoire of all, the Picatrix. These sources typically tell us what the effect of the talisman will be, what materials are best used for its construction, what image, design, characters, or sigils to place on the talisman, and what astrological conditions must be present during the creation of the talisman. Often specific instructions for consecrating the talisman are given. Let's walk through the creation of a talisman of Jupiter. Agrippa says, They made also another image of Jupiter, for religious and glorious life, and the advancement of fortune, whose figure was a man having the head of a lion, or a ram, and eagle's feet clothed in saffron-colored clothes, and he was called the son of Jupiter. So this Jupiter talisman is for spiritual advancement, good fortune, and for wealth. Nigel Jackson, our talented mage artist, then created several images for Jupiter using this description. First a full-color image of the ram-headed and eagle-footed Jupiter, clad in saffron robes, to be used for meditation and consecration. Then a black-and-white image to be used to cast the Jupiter talisman itself. As the astrologer, I chose an appropriate time for casting this Jupiter talisman, a time when Jupiter is at his maximum strength and power. In this case, Jupiter rises. It is the planetary hour of Jupiter, and Jupiter is very strong in his sign Sagittarius. These factors are only in place for approximately half an hour, and the talisman must be cast, must actually be created during this short time interval. To cast the talisman itself, Wade Coleman, our mage jeweler, uses the ancient lost wax method. Taking Nigel's black and white image, she creates a mold, and then, at the astrologically auspicious moment, pours the molten silver into the mold creating the Jupiter talisman. By being created at a time when Jupiter is strong, with the image appropriate to Jupiter, this talisman becomes charged with the energy and spirit of Jupiter. The talisman then continues to radiate the energy of prosperity and good fortune that infuse the moment of its creation. The final step in empowering a talisman is its consecration, the ritual and invocation of the spirit of the planet or star of the talisman. We can either think of this as charging with impersonal energy, or actually ensouling the talisman, inviting the desired spirit to dwell in and infuse the talisman with its powers. Through the use of ritual, use involving candles and incense, we call upon the spirit of the talisman, bringing it down to us and raising ourselves up to its sphere. By making talismans, we can bring ourselves many positive material benefits, prosperity, good fortune, love, and protection. At the same time, we are experiencing directly the spiritual realm which underlies and connects all material things. Our practical experience with creating and using authentic Renaissance and medieval talismans can lead us to a greater understanding of the spiritual nature and unity of the cosmos.